This is the plaintiff, Juliet. She says she was at a standstill waiting to get on the highway, and the distracted defendant rear-ended her. She begged and pleaded not to go through insurance. She promised to pay for the damages, and she's here to teach this woman a lesson about doing the right thing. She's suing for $1,424.29. The cost to repair her Subaru. This is the defendant, LaToya. She says she lightly tapped the bumper of the plaintiff's car, and the ranting and raving woman jumped out of the car like she just stole a million dollars from her. Then the woman started videotaping her, and she called the cops to try to defuse the situation. When the cops arrived, they saw there was no damage to either car, and no report was written. How this woman thinks she can get over 1400 bucks from her when there was no damage is laughable, and she thinks the judge will surely agree. She's accused of kissing a bumper. All parties, please get your ready. You see that? Come to order, please. Litigants haven't been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're Juliet, you're suing LaToya for $1,424.29 in damages that she did to your brand new, spanking brand new Subaru. What happened? Um, on January 9th, we were um, going to make a right turn onto the expressway, the local expressway, then you get onto the expressway. And we're waiting there. There's no lights, but you have to wait because coming down from the yeah, Avenue, there's coming traffic. Okay. Exactly. So <laughs> we're just waiting. My husband's there talking. Um, my daughter is in the back seat, and we felt a hit. And of course, you know, a little. It wasn't like a major thing. So I looked in the rearview mirror, and um, she looked up. I don't know what she was doing, but she looked up. So I was very upset. The car was just a little over a week old, and. Um, I came out and I was, you know, you you just hit my car, and um, are, are you are you telling me that you know where her eyes were before she hit? No, you? I don't know where her eyes were, but when yeah, I look in the rearview mirror, yeah, she right, she looked but, up, but yeah, I don't know but, what she was yeah, doing. Yeah, but you don't know how the accident happened. You just no, know what happened. Right, happened right. from behind. What happened? Um, so we were coming out of the side street, and there were vehicles. Um, like a truck and a bus parked on the service road, so you couldn't really see until you like merged out. Yeah, you have to roll a out a little bit. Right. Right. So she rolled out, and you I was assuming she that was she was keep gonna going. keep going. Well, that's why you can't be, you know, riding on someone's behind like that because you're supposed to be far enough back that if you make that mistake, you have time to stop without hitting them. Right. Okay. So now go ahead. So I was upset. I came out and, you know, I was, you just hit my car and uh, she was oh, more. Do you think she did that on purpose, do you? Well, no, I don't think so. Right, but it's called I an was. accident. Yes, okay. I do. I understand that. But her response was that, don't scream at me, don't scream at me, let's move the car. But I wanted to take pictures before moving the car. So th there is space enough when cars work up by I don't even care. Us. I'm <laughs> telling you right now, you never Move the cars until you've taken a picture and a video. I don't right. care if the law says you have to move the cars. You will in 10 seconds. Right. You will do it after you take pictures and video. Because what's going to happen is that somebody's going to testify later that, nah, it didn't happen that way. Right. I'm not saying you will. I'm just saying that's, that's what you Sometimes do when you're in an accident. Go ahead. So, um, you know, we came out, and uh, it, it, it's starting to get heated because she wanted me to move the car. I didn't want to move the cars. I wanted to take pictures. So I'm fumbling, meanwhile, trying to call 911, but I didn't realize that my phone was still hooked up to the Bluetooth in my car. So when I dial 911, I can't hear them. They can't hear me. Meanwhile, she's upset, screaming to move the cars. I told my daughter, come out, take pictures of it. With a heated moment of everything happening, I'm, I I just don't understand why it has to be so heated. It's well, an accident. Well, be, but I was upset. I, you know, oh, I don't. It's not I, like don't I'm I, I didn't and say, say I don't understand why you're upset. You have a brand new car that got hit. I understand that you are upset. I just have you ever had an accident? Second one, but the other one was a sanitation truck, which they right okay. Away took have care you of ever this. had an accident that was your fault? No. Have you ever done anything wrong in your life? <laughs> okay, like yes. I just don't, under I don't understand yes. <laughs> how something that is an accident has to end up being so heated and unpleasant, but go on. Well, Do you have the video of um, the heated unpleasant? Well, I, I did, but I didn't want to bring it because I don't Of course really not, because it makes it. you look bad? No, I want no, no. it. No, it doesn't make me I look bad. I want it. I was not it, even on the video. The video was more, that's how it got really heated. Because, yes, that's why I want to see because it. Because she did Why not can't want I have any fun? <laughs> 
so you take all the video, you take all the pictures, all that's great. Right. And then when the police come, you send yeah. the police away? No. What no, happened? we didn't send the police away. The police came. I didn't want to talk to her. My husband actually was great because he was diffusing the situation. I think because I was yelling and she didn't want to be, I wasn't yelling, look, you, you did it on purpose. I, I understand it's an accident. Yeah, you got to calm but down. You yes. got to take down eight octaves. All right. That's all there is to it. Right. It's an accident. Right. Because but, that's putting bad juju in the world. And one day you or your daughter or your husband is going to have an accident. And then someone's going to start screaming at you like it's, un, it's goofy. But let's get past that a second. And I want to understand why the police didn't file a police report. Well, she asked the police that she didn't want to get her it insurance. It doesn't matter. Event. Both of you have to oh, agree we to didn't, it. We didn't think about that that time. But Wait the a minute. Stop. The police are called out, and they're yeah. going to do a police report unless both sides agree not no, to do it. They didn't. they didn't ask oh, if there's we no denied. Way. The husband agreed? That's not What happened? happened? Why didn't the police no. write a report? The police came, and they didn't see any damages. They came to me and told me that she didn't want to do a police report. I and that she wanted to take the car back to her dealer to see if there's damages underneath. Okay. So... Are there visible damages uh, based on the love tap that mm -hmm. happened? There's... It looks just like a, a print, but the police is the one who... Is suggests... this your car? That's my car. That's your car. Is this your that's car? That's my car. Yes, it just looks yeah, like that's a print. visible. Yeah, that's visible. Yeah. But the police are the ones who actually told me to is take it back. Is this the bad. pictures of them in, yes. in, in sight? Yes. Okay. The police are the ones who told you what? To take it in because sometimes even a little I, small I'm not asking thing. about taking it. I'm asking about the decision not to do a police report. Because well, just we, like I said we, earlier to everyone within the sound of my voice, take pictures and video of, the, of how things look at the moment. Right. Here's the other corollary rule. You want a police report. But in any of and, and there's numerous reasons why. You want the police involved. You want them to check the insurance. You want to find, you know, you want things on record. But they didn't even check the insurance. That's the Listen thing. to me, my dear. I've been doing this all of my life. There is no way the police walk off unless both sides say, we want to handle this among ourselves. That happened. Whether you acknowledge it or not is meaningless to me because I know they don't walk off unless that happens. So your husband probably said, you know, I want my husband to handle it because he was diffusing the situation. Whatever it is, somewhere, somebody along the way said that. Now let's get past that because that's your lives. That's what happened in your In my life, that wouldn't happen because I demand a report. In your lives, that's what happened. According to you, they don't write a report because there's no damage. That's not true. They don't write a report because both sides agree not to write a report. Now, she is expecting you to pay for the damage. And why don't you? What's going on? Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So in a rear end collision, in a rear end collision, is there ever a defense for the person who comes from behind and hits the person in front? Can you think of any defense they would have? Um, because they fell asleep, I don't know. They fell asleep. <laughs> well, but if the person in front falls asleep, their car is still stopped. What do you say? Oh, what do you say? It, it, it's the same thing. If they fell asleep, how can it be their fault? But if they get hit from behind... Yeah, uh, the falling asleep doesn't work. I'm just curious here. Um, so, iguana? Yeah, iguana. Yeah. He's got about as good of an answer as everybody else in the crowd, right? Ah. See? Why is he opening his mouth? He's trying to ask No, does the teeth come out after? I, I don't know a lot. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm fascinated by this. Going inside the courtroom. I filed a claim with the insurance company. With I what called, insurance company? With my insurance company. I called them. Okay. I made them aware of the accident. Okay. I sent them pictures. Uh -huh. I gave my statement. Uh -huh. They contacted her insurance company as well. I also asked her to meet me at the precinct after she got this estimate with this amount so we can get a police report. I also offered for her to take it to go get other estimates if there really was damage underneath okay. because she's telling me that there's damage underneath. Well, she's only saying that because that's what Subaru told her. They've inspected it and they say that, you know, when you have a brand new car... The estimate didn't say that. Say that? The estimate didn't say I'm that. I'm sorry, let me see the estimate. The estimate that she said. What did your me. insurance company decide? My insurance company spoke with her insurance company and then they contacted me back and told me that they weren't taking they weren't taking liability. Because what? Because you weren't at fault? A reason. They didn't give me a reason. Oh, but they did, right? Because in your answer to the complaint, you say it wasn't my fault, so they wouldn't pay. But the truth is that you lapsed and you didn't have insurance. I have insurance. I still have active okay. insurance. Okay. According to them, you weren't covered. Because of a lapse. That's what the insurance letter says. I don't have a lapse of my insurance. Okay, well, that's what they're saying, so you better check. 
I just paid my give, insurance. Okay, I, you can whine to me all you want. I'm telling you what your reality okay. is. Give me a copy of the letter where they said she's not covered because of a lapse. They can't repair what they're saying. is not that there's damage underneath, that there's the visible damage, and that damage can't be smoothed out, so you have to replace the bumper. That's what, what, what they're saying. But her words to me when in front of the police were, oh, well, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the damage It doesn't matter. Underneath. She's worried about it now. She could change her mind. Why wouldn't you? If you had a brand new, so what year is this, Subaru? 2019, which okay, is Okay, why would you? You think that she's going to put up with having that footprint-looking thing because you negligently But drove? that's what she said out of her mouth care. to me. I don't care. That doesn't matter. It's ridiculous. We have completed our investigation. There's no coverage. I still have active insurance right now. I was never informed that there was a lapse in my coverage. Where did you get that there was a lapse? The insurance company told that to me because okay. I didn't never understand. Did they the give you? Had... Did they put anything in writing besides what's here? No, they said that's all they can put in writing. But they... okay, what they say in writing here is investigation proved there's no coverage. That sounds to me like a lapse. That doesn't sound like, um, you know, we find. Usually the language is we find that our person isn't in fault, which would never in a million years happen in a rear end accident. Right. Right. So you, you'll have a copy of that. You look it up. You figure it out. In the meantime, I have one job, and that's to figure out if $1,424.29 is a legitimate estimate for... Put your hand down. For, I'm about to rule in your favor. It's not obvious to you? Oh, no. That's still not good enough? <laughs> Whether $1,424.29 is a legitimate uh, estimate for the repair, and I find that it is, and I find in favor of the plaintiff in that amount. It costs a lot of money, especially when it's a new car. We're done, $1,424.29, verdict for the plaintiff. Thank you. Right, Make sure she has a copy of the letter from the insurance company. <laughs> so the plaintiff gets the money for the repairs. That was an expensive love tap. I mean, she said she wasn't worried about the damage if it was nothing underneath, and now she's going back and changing her story. and. They're saying I had a lapse in insurance, but my insurance is still active at this moment. I never had a lapse. Okay. Well, so. that's the way it works in court. Sorry mm -hmm. about that. That's right. fine. Thank you very much. Thank you. You sign some documents on your way out of the courtroom. All right. You got to be happy. You, I know you were upset. I, 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 I feel I, better I now. Upset. I, I do. I just want my car repaired. That's all I want. And it's a brand new car, so I was upset. But I'm going to try to take it down a notch like Calm the judge down said. a little bit. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good advice yes. from the judge. Yes, my okay. mother also told me that. <laughs> good enough. All right. Thank, Thank you. you very okay, much. good enough. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Harvey? And, uh, Doug, one other thing. Um, when somebody doesn't have insurance, that has no bearing on the accident, on whose fault it is. Fault is determined by negligence, and insurance has nothing to do with it. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.